If you're watching this video, you want to grow your Instagram page quickly with an easy and perfect niche that also works on TikTok. If you take a look at these pages, you'll see they have tons of views and subscribers. You might think this niche is old, but it still works 100%. The proof is in the numbers on the latest videos. Additionally, this niche will help you get more engagement because the majority of viewers comment and share these reels with friends. So, take this opportunity and start your page now. So in this video, I'll teach you step-by-step -step how to create these kinds of videos using AI and free tools. Let's get started. But before we dive in, let's get a quick update on what we'll be creating today. Intuition test. Trust your instincts and choose the correct answer. Which are Cristiano Ronaldo's eyes? You have three seconds to think. The correct answer is... First, we go to the Canva website, open it, and click on Create a Design. Then, we choose the dimensions. I'll work with the same dimensions as Reels, which are 916. This interface will appear. Now, we search for vintage models, choose one, and apply it to our background as you can see. After this, we choose each sticker and add a simple animation. You can add the flow animation or drift, for example. Next, we search for the Servo sticker and add it to the background at the top center. We then apply an animation to it, just like the others, and download the video. Next, we go to Notepad. You will find a prompt in the description. Copy it and ask ChatGPT to rewrite it. You can also ask it to add multiple questions. However, I will just use the original prompt. Now, I go to Eleven Labs AI and choose a voice, as you can see. After that, I copy each part and paste it into the box, then click the Generate button. We wait a little and then download the audio. After this, we go to Google and search for the images we want to use in the editing part. I will download pictures of Cristiano Ronaldo, Neymar, and Messi. Then, we go directly to the Pixabay site, search for a background song, choose one, and download it. Just make sure to check the copyright rules before downloading. Now, we open CapCut, add all the supplies we downloaded earlier. First, we add the video, then the voiceover for the intuition test, as you can see. Next, we add the other audio about trusting your instincts and choosing the correct answer, along with another question. Finally, we cut a part of the video, copy it and paste it to extend the background video like this. After that, we add the text intuition test. Next, we change the font and style of the text. You can also use some effects, but I prefer to use a simple effect with a stroke. Then we add a simple animation like this and change the position of the text. After that, I decide to add a simple touch by changing the color of the second word to yellow. Now, we add a simple sticker. We go to the stickers options and search for a trust sticker, as you can see. We choose one and place it in the middle of the video, as you can see.
and also add a loop animation like that. After that, we remove the silence from the voiceover by cutting it. Now it's time to add the second text, so we add a text question like this. We change its font, add a simple animation, and adjust the style, as you can see. To make the question look good, we divide it into two parts, as you can see, and enlarge it, like this. Now it's time to add the images of the eyes. We start with the image of Neymar, cutting it as you can see. We choose 16.9 dimensions and reduce it a little, around 43%. We repeat the same process for the images of Messi and Ronaldo. After finishing, we go on to cut the images to the desired duration then add a slide-up animation to each image. After this, we go to the Filters option and add a black and white filter to each image, like that. Next, we go to the stickers options and search for a clock sticker. We place it where the intuition test text was. We remove the text and replace it with the sticker. After three seconds, we try to revert all the changes to their original state by copying the background video and extending the image durations, as you can see. Then, we add back the text we removed earlier. Finally, we go to the part where we reveal the correct answer and add a keyframe to the correct image, as you can see. We move forward a bit and add a second keyframe, where we enlarge the size of the image like this. We then go to the stickers option, search for a correct sticker, and add it to the image, as you can see, along with a loop animation. Now we go to the audio option and search for the sound effects we need. First, we search for the whoosh sound effect and add it to every transition as a quick effect. We also search for the typing sound effect and add it to the text animation part. Then, we search for a timing sound for the three seconds of thinking time. And finally, we search for a right answer sound effect for the answer part. For each sound effect, you can reduce the volume or add fade in and fade out animations. It's up to you. Next, we add the song we downloaded as background music, then cut it and reduce its volume slightly so it doesn't overpower the narrator. We also add fade in and fade out effects to it. Now that we're finished, to make the process easier for future questions, you just need to change the images and stickers by right-clicking like this, 
and for the vocals, just delete them while keeping the sound effects. For the thumbnail, you just click on edit like this, and this interface will appear. Then, replace the image from the video like that. We will choose this one, then click on the save button. Now, we'll add numbers to each image. For example, one for the first image, two for the second, and so on. After adding the numbers, we edit them by adding a stroke, adjusting the style, etc. When we finish, we click on save and check that the number of frames is 60. Then we export our video. So guys, we'll meet in a new video soon. Bye bye, love you all.